Hi everyone, we are at CR Space 2024 in the US. I am now on the booth of Epirus. They specialize in counter drone solutions. And uh, they just uh, made an announcement regarding uh, the, the US Navy. Good morning, sir. Can you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Shane Karp. I lead marketing communications at Epirus. All right, Shane. So uh, you just announced that uh, the US Navy is going to try out one of your systems at sea on one of their vessels. Can you tell us more? Yeah, this is our first time testing it out with the U.S. Navy. Uh, obviously, we've had some success with some other clients throughout the other services, and we're excited to move into a maritime uh, use case. Uh, we've tested it out in the lab before, and we've shown effects on outboard motors. So the hope is that we'd be able to take out USVs, UAVs, and be able to help get after that, that counter drone threat. Can you tell us a little more about your technology? So obviously, it's like non-kinetic. Is it like uh, radio waves? Uh, well, how does it work? Yeah, so this is a high power microwave system. Uh, it is non-kinetic, which is uh, great for the DOD because um, when you think about the threats that are facing our service members today, we're currently using very expensive uh, kinetics to get after them. They could be upwards of a million dollars for a $20,000 drone. And when you think about that over a long period of time, that's not uh, a good solution. So. This is unlimited magazine. Uh, you only need what uh, a normal generator to power it. And uh, so it's cost friendly, it's efficient, and uh, we're excited to get it out there to test it out with the Navy. On one of your screens, or you're showing it on board a uh, USB. Uh, is that something uh, that's, that's is that illustrating one of the possibilities? Yeah, that's a, one of the concepts of operation that we've put forward. Uh, at the end of the day, it'll depend what the Navy needs and their use case and their requirements. Uh, one of the good things with our technology is that it's modular and scalable. So depending on the range that you need and the kind of effects that you need, we can build it based off your use case. And uh, besides the, the US Navy, could uh, US allies and partners uh, access to, to this? Is it exportable? Not today. Uh, we're working through that, but the hope is that we can work with our allies and partners uh, soon because we know that this technology is needed throughout the world. You see it every day with the drones being used in Ukraine and the Middle East, and we really think that we can help with that. All right, Shane, thank you very much. Thank you, sir.